Peace, family. It's your boy, King Overtuner, back again with another episode. Um, today's episode, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, my situation and what's been going on since I've been under quarantine here in Uganda. Uh, I'm not stuck in Uganda. I'm actually where I wanted to be, so I'm actually glad this whole thing's been going on because I don't have to leave, you know what I'm saying, and nobody's forcing me to go either. My visa is expired, however, the government has pardoned us because of the, uh, the, the lockdown situation, so... I'm actually comfortable with that. I'm not upset at that at all. Like I said, I'm, I'm where I wanted to be in the first place, so I'm not upset that, you know, this whole quarantine is happening. You know, I'm, I'm here in Uganda. Um, other than that, I do want to mention that we did receive, my wife received um, uh, government rations from the uh, Ugandan government, and we're actually going to end up serving that to her mom and uh, some family members. And also, I acquired some other things that I'm going to be bringing over to my mom's place today. Okay, family, so a few things that I acquired um, is my rooster right there, and he's getting agitated. We're going to take him over to my mom's place and um, started my own chicken coop over there at my uh, mother in law's place, uh, my wife's mom. So I'm going to take this rooster over there. I'm going to get a hen that's already in that area and um, let them do what they do. And uh, to give you guys an update on my plants, my small little garden here. All my plants are doing very, very well. My pineapples over here today. are those two in those containers. My cactus right there. It just rained, so I keep my cactus covered up to avoid it drowning because it is the rainy season right now. I think it's towards the end of the rainy season or the middle of it, I think. And uh, I got some garlic, which is that one. That's garlic. These are jackfruit here, lemons down here. I uh, forgot what that is. There, I got my passion is here. Passion is there. Lemon, jackfruit is there. Jackfruit is here. And more jackfruit up there. So, also. I'm gonna be delivering this jackfruit over to my mother-in-law's place as well. This jackfruit was in this container, but it outgrew the container. As you can see, the roots have grown pretty deep, so I had to transfer it. I have soil down in there, so I had to transfer that. My aloe is doing good. And all the rest of my other plants are doing very well for themselves. So, as of right now, I'm still waiting to uh, go to um, my mom's place. I'm waiting on the Uber right now because uh, they're moving pretty slow. But once the Uber comes, then we're good to go. Okay, family. So one thing I wanted to talk about is when the food uh, rations were delivered here. So in Uganda, um, from what I was told, the food rations are only being delivered in the central region. And the night prior to them delivering the food in our area, there was a man that was going around on one of those uh, mega horns and was saying in uh, their language that they're going to be delivering food and that um, you got to have your national ID and somebody's going to go around checking your ID and everything. And I'm going to include a video of that as well, of the individuals who went around checking IDs and registering people so they can get their food, basically. And um, that was kind of shady how that whole thing went down. I'm not going to lie about that. The reason why I say it was a bit shady was because when I tried to film them, um, one of the, the people there, I guess, I'm not sure who that lady was or what she was um, doing with the uh, UPDF, but um, she didn't want me to film them. So immediately when they saw me recording, they um, decided to tell me to stop recording, which is pretty shady because we're supposed to record them when they're doing these things. You know what I mean? So... I didn't know what was up with that, but after looking at the video, I realized that they may have been trying to uh, hide something or they may have been doing something that they probably weren't supposed to be doing. So that's why they didn't want us to film. And um, I managed to get a little bit of uh, video of that, but um, not as much as I would like to basically. Uh, outside of that, um, so you had the UPDF come through every neighborhood and they had um, the food rations on the back of pickup trucks, and they would basically uh, go to your door and calculate how much you are owed for the rations, and they would just drop it off at your doorstep and then keep moving. Now, if you're not home, 
I don't believe you're getting the food rations because I've seen that a few people who were not home did not receive them at all. Maybe they got skipped or whatever the case may be, but from what I understand, like people who have to work and people who have to maintain their businesses were not home when they were delivering this food. So once they come through, I guess that's the end of it. Maybe you have to go for uh, local people. They probably have to go see their uh, local council, their LC, and then talk to them and discuss that whole situation with them. But as far as I know, if you're not home, you're not getting it, basically. <laughs> Oh, they're bringing. I'm not taking your photo. So the people that are going around are these two guys here in our neighborhood. One of them, I think they both work for the Ugandan government. So they go around with that paper that you're seeing. That one there, and they're writing that number on someone's property, like that, as you can see. That's my neighbor there. So, when they come and distribute the food, I have the same number here on my property, and my neighbor has one on his window as well. I'm not sure if you can see it. But when they come to distribute the food, that's what they're going to be doing, is uh, checking for those numbers there. And there's an individual there in that uniform. I was told it's a prison uniform. I'm not really sure which department he works for in the government. But, yep, that's what they're distributing. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that now that um, movement is uh, limited, movement is allowed in the country, we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at some places to stay at. I'm um, also gonna include this in a separate video so you guys can see some more budget homes because I see that my subscribers really enjoy those videos a lot. So um, I enjoy making those videos as long as you guys enjoy watching them. So I don't mind at all uh, creating a separate video so everyone can see more budget homes. Now I will say this, some of the budget homes that I've been looking at were in the middle of being remodeled. So please uh, keep that in mind when you're looking at them that if you just so happen to come to the country and you just so happen to see one of the homes that were in the video, it may not look the same way. It may look um, more up to date basically. But I, uh, because everything was in lockdown, some places had to stop in the middle of remodeling um, their properties. So that's basically the situation um, that we're looking at right now. You know what I mean? So as I'm looking at different properties, some of these properties I have to go in there with an the open mind because like I said, they were in the middle of remodeling as soon as the pandemic st started. So, and it's not over in this country at all. There is still lockdown in this country. So there's a lot of limitations and a lot of restrictions. So like I said, it's just a lot of uh, homes that are still in the middle of being remodeled. And um, we are in the process of trying to find some uh, halfway decent ones, basically. One place that I looked at was so beat up that I couldn't even bear to, you know, be in that house too long. And plus, um, they were demanding money, a lot of money for us to finish the remodeling and that that's just out of the question for us. So we're gonna go and um, look at different places and try to find more trustworthy uh, brokers and uh, Cause some of these brokers, I'm not gonna lie, like everybody's looking for money right now. You know, this quarantine has kind of messed up a lot of people's pockets. So some of the brokers that we've dealt with so far are just money first and show you everything else later. And we're not, we, we don't do business that way. 
So um, we found a, a few places, like I said, on our own, and we're gonna go check those out uh, this afternoon. So uh, since this um, whole quarantine has been going on, me and my wife, we actually have not been able to go many places or do many things. And that is why I have not been uploading consistently like I was before I was uploading a video once a week. But lately, we haven't been able to go anywhere. And the part of town that we live in, it's not a whole lot to see out here and not a whole lot to do. So a lot of businesses or a lot of places to go have been shut down. And um, other places that we would have went are a little bit you know, far out of our reach as far as walking distance. And I have to be considerate of my wife as well. So some places may not be too far for me to walk, but it might be a bit far for her to walk. So I'm not going to, you know, force somebody or pressure someone into walking and not blaming that on her or anything like that. You know what I mean? But I just want to let that be known. You know, it's a lot of videos that we have not been able to do is because of the fact that we have to walk everywhere we have to go. And it's a curfew, so we have to be back by a certain time. So it's just... A lot of unnecessary things, you know, inconvenience is basically that's been happening. Um, but aside from that, you know, now that some movement has been lifted, um, I'm looking to go ahead and, you know, pick up where I left off, basically. And um, that's the purpose of this, this video now is just to update you all on what's going on and to show you guys that, you know, I'm trying to pick up where I left off, basically. And I am trying, you know, so bear with me. Thank you very hey, much. Fam, it's your boy King of Tunnel back again. So, finally got my Uber. Now I'm walking to go to the uh, house that I was telling you guys about. That long walk up a hill. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, family, almost there. This is my view so far. I got a whole view of the lake and the other side of Ndeje. That's the lake. Right there. We gotta go to that place right there. We came from all the way down here. Yeah, so I'm gonna go check this out. Hopefully, I like what I see. It came all the way this far, so I hope I like it. So I finally made it to the place, however, can't see inside of there because the door's locked. So we gotta wait on somebody to come, but the door is locked. So far, I mean, it looks very nice on the outside. The location doesn't look bad at all. Um, it looks good. We're gonna see how it looks on the inside. Um, I saw a brief video, but I really need to see like uh, physically what's going on on the inside so that I can make a decision. Because there's another place that I had looked at before, and um, it's far around the same price as this place here, but it's not an apartment building. It's uh, like a townhouse, so to speak, and it is not... Um, 
high up on a hill like this. It's, uh, it's in an elevated position. Like the way the house is designed is elevated from the rest of the courtyard, but it's not like uh, up on a hill like this place. Like this place, you can literally tell it's up on a hill because there's a valley right in front of me, right in front of the, um, this apartment complex. So you can see the valley and then you can see another hill all the way up on the other side. So like I said, we're just waiting for the landlord or the uh, house broker to come and then hopefully we'll be able to get inside and see the place. So what's up family? So I'm uh, back in the Uber. I did not get to see the uh, apartment we were going to look at. So I'm a little disappointed on that one, but we'll try again another day. Uh, outside of that, that pretty much concludes this episode. And um, I'll get back to you guys in the next episode. Peace.